Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to New Brit Workshop. Not long ago, I gave some advice to Trend, uh, who are quite grateful, and as a result, they sent me a couple of freebies. Uh, and ordinarily, these would get sort of pushed off to uh, one side in the workshop, but I've had a look at them. I think it's worth letting you know about them. Uh, there are two respirators they've sent. Uh, one is the Air Ace, and the other is the Air Stealth respirator. And they've sent me a set of their safety glasses. One set has uh, got clear lenses and the other has got a sort of sunglass type tint to it. Uh, so those are the things they've sent. I'm just going to talk to you about them very briefly now. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone's aware that I'm really keen on workshop safety. Uh, and that's eyes, ears, uh, lungs and also uh, your little fingers and things that might get in the way of something sharp. Now, a long time ago, I made a video about uh, dust in the workshop and the hazards that it can create. Uh, and in the workshop, when I'm doing something that is dusty, I wear a powered respirator. Now, if I'm out and about, or if I'm in a hurry and doing a very quick job, uh, then I might use one of these disposable uh, little masks. But the problem with these is that you use them once and when you take them off and put them down, uh, they get contaminated. They get dirt from the bench or from the floor, wherever it happens to land after you take it off. Uh, so these are really a one-off, one-time use uh, bit of equipment. And to bridge the gap uh, between the powered respirator and the cheap and cheerful one-time use uh, mask, uh, Trend have these two products. Now I'm not showing any prices here uh, because it will be different in every country and so you need to look that up on the internet yourself. Now when you first receive the Air Ace uh, the very first thing to do is to get the strapping sorted out uh, to suit you and this is very simple. And the first thing to do is to take uh, this bit which has got the adjuster on the end and put that over your head and so that's sitting behind your neck and then pull this bit up so it's over your head and at the same time put your face into the mask. So there we go, that's it and you can probably see the strap at the back here. If necessary now you can tighten these to adjust to get it fitting comfortably. It needs to fit quite snugly. The next thing to do is to do a quick test to make sure this part is fitting around the face properly. Now you can pop the front bit out as simple as that. There's a little couple of uh, things to press in on one on this side and one there and that piece comes off. And you then take this test plug and if you look carefully just here uh, there's the, the sort of inlet for the system. Put this over that hole and breathe in. <laughs> And you shouldn't be able to breathe in at all with that test plug in. That just checks that the seal around here is as it should be. And we can now put this safely to one side. Make sure you don't lose it because you'll need to check uh, that that fits uh, again from time to time. You now need to take one of these filters and fit it uh, to the main part of the mask. And this is very simple. There are some little uh, sort of lugs at the end here. Push it under this end, make sure it's sitting nice and neatly, push it under the other end, and that should be held in place. Next, we're going to refit the cover. Now, this is the top, and at the top, it's got the word trend on the cover. So I'm going to push that into place like so. And I've clicked that end in, and I'm now just going to click that in, in like so. And that's that uh, filter now fit it and we can now use the mask. Now these filters uh, trend state that they should last 10 times as long as a normal disposable mask. Now in reality a disposable mask should last at least half a day maybe a full day as long as you don't contaminate it. So this is uh, going to give you really about 10 days worth of usage, uh, solid usage. But of course, the average person is probably only using it for an hour or two at a time. So maybe a longer period of time overall. And Trend uh, also sell an optional storage container, uh, which you can use so that you can keep 
uh, your respirator uh, dust free when it's not in use and this is quite a good idea uh, either use a container like this or put it in a plastic bag and it sits in there nicely and there's room here for some spare uh, filters and these again are available as individual items and also room for the test plug now before i do the demonstration of the respirator let me just show you the safety glasses they're very simple uh, i'll be using the clear ones uh, during the demonstration there's no adjuster on here uh, it's one size fits all and I actually like that. I'm absolutely sick and tired of those glasses which have got sliding adjusters here. And every time you put them on, you've got to do an adjustment because every time you put them away, it goes out of adjustment. And so I quite like the idea of glasses that you just put on and that's it. And when you take them off, they don't go out of adjustment. And that's as simple as that. And if any of you make a comment to this video saying you look like Spider-Man, you're in for trouble. You'll be banned. I don't know if you can hear me, I've now got glasses, respirator, and my ear defenders. My ear defenders fit on quite nicely, no problems whatsoever, and so I feel good to go. Let's give it a quick whirl. Well, I'm certainly not breathing any dust, so that works. Now, the uh, Stealth is a, a different type of respirator. Uh, it has two filter pads underneath this hard plastic cover and you can take the hard plastic cover off one side there a little clip there one side there and away it comes and there you can see these replaceable uh, filter pads and replacement filters come in a little packet like this and they're quite easy to fit basically you're going to pull back the rubber and then you can insert these in and make sure the rubber is seated all the way around. After that's done, you just replace this part, just making sure that part fits neatly over uh, the exhale valve. And then pull this round, clip that in, pull that round and clip that in like so. So that's now put back together again. Uh, and when you wear this, uh, you wear it very simply. Uh, there's a strap that goes to the back and then a uh, little clip arrangement here. So you put it on like so, and then hook those two bits together, and that uh, actually fits quite nicely. There is adjustment there, uh, if you need it. So there we go. Now we'll now do another quick uh, demonstration. <laughs> so here we go, same piece of wood. And that seems to be quite reasonably done. Well, there we go. There's the ACE and the Stealth respirator and those safety glasses. Now, Trend didn't ask me to make this video. They sent me this kit free of charge as a, a thank you for something else. Uh, but I thought it was worthy of showing you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.